Good morning. I am here in the parking lot of Aldi, which is a grocery store. Um, a lot of my friends in West Texas are not familiar with Aldi, and I have to admit, when I moved to Dallas and my mother-in-law brought me here the first time, I was not a fan just because it was unfamiliar and I didn't know how um, to use their discounts to my benefit because it was all overwhelming at first. Um, but now that I am a seasoned Aldi shopper, I just figured I would kind of show you what we buy. I will be shopping for myself and my husband. We usually try to keep it low carb in our house, but we also have a two year old named Troy and Troy is not exactly low carb. I do try to keep him um, away from processed foods as much as I can. So we usually buy a lot of fruit and vegetables and meat and dairy. Um, so I'm just going to take you guys along with me as I shop. Hopefully I don't get too many weird looks by bringing my camera in there. We do have two refrigerators and freezers at our house, so it is pretty convenient whenever they have meat on sale. I can just put it in our freezer and get to it at a later time. I know not everybody has that option, but um, whenever the meat is marked down, that's usually what I do. Um, we do have some meat in the freezer at home, but we are out of fresh vegetables and fresh fruit. So that was my main reason for coming today. Um, if you're interested in any other ways that I shop, just let me know. But uh, today we are just focusing on Aldi for groceries because we definitely need them. So these raisins are some of the cheapest I've found while grocery shopping. They are easy for me to take with us in the car for Troy to eat on the go. Um, he asked for yogurt raisins last time and he did not eat them. So I'm just going to get the plain Jane ones to have on hand. 99 cents, can't beat that. They also have a good selection of nuts, um, but we already have some roasted peanuts at home and they have lots of good trail mix options but um, those are usually higher carb than I would feel comfortable buying for myself and my husband. Troy is definitely a fan of this dried fruit again for on the go. Um, he really likes the strawberry. Let's see there's a strawberry. He really really likes these. They are a little more pricey than some other options. I don't buy them every time but they are marked down a little bit today so I'll go ahead and get these. Bananas are an easy on-the-go food for Troy. Another thing that we can give him while he's in the backseat of the car on the way to church and an organic bunch for that price cannot be beat. I'm just trying to find a good bunch. Let's see. All right, I think I'm happy with these. Go ahead and do that. And look what they have. Pumpkins. I feel like it might be too early still here in September for me to buy these, but I'm excited to see them. So blueberries are one of the few fruits that you can eat when you're low carb in moderation. Of course, Troy loves blueberries. I feel like this is a really good amount for that price. They look really tasty. We're going to get some of these today and also probably some strawberries. They are priced at $1.65 today. Way better than at Kroger when I was there last week. So I want to get some of those too. Uh, Troy usually really likes grapes and I usually give him the option of green or purple, but he's not with me today. So I'm going to go with the cheaper and we'll go ahead and get these ones. Kroger had blackberries for two for five dollars, so this is definitely the cheaper option. Um, Troy loves blackberries. I'll probably go ahead and get two of these because he honestly can eat through one whole carton in one day. The kid loves his fruit and I'm okay with that. Also probably going to get some of these green onions, they're only 69 cents and I can always use those in recipes.
So cucumbers I usually see at other stores for 50 cents at the cheapest. They are only 39 cents here and those are massive cucumbers. I'm probably going to get uh, one or two of those. We like to peel them and put them in uh, Troy's lunchbox when we do picnic lunches at church. Also another thing I love to get here is mushrooms, $1.29 for mushrooms. Are you kidding me? That's definitely the cheapest I've ever seen them um, without a clearance sticker on them, of course. So I'm going to get some mushrooms, some cucumbers, and maybe some celery. Their celery is $1.19. That's the usual price for it here. I definitely love asparagus. $2.39 is a decent price for all that comes in it. Um, we like to wrap ours in bacon and roast them in the oven or just put, you know, some butter and lemon pepper on those. So I'll get one of those. Um, also, broccoli is one of the few vegetables that Troy will eat and it is priced at $1.39 today. So I'm going to go ahead and get a pack of that. Two crowns come in that for that price. That's, that's a great buy. Um, I need to be eating more salad lately. So I think I might get something like this, some chopped kale, or I do remember they had a spinach mix. Um, I think their price for the bag salads is probably pretty generally around what they are everywhere else. Ryan and I really liked this last time. I know it's not exactly like keto friendly because it has um, some corn and um, other things in it, but the macros on that are not bad. So six net carbs per serving, and there's three and a half servings, so I mean, if we split that up, throw some chicken in there, it's it's a pretty good dinner for $2.89. I think I'm going to get it. Holy moly, guys, look at this. This is a jackfruit selling it by the pound. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in real life. Like, look how big that is. That is massive. I'm definitely not going to buy it today, but I just, I'm intrigued. So I thought I would share. Uh, Troy is a huge fan of cantaloupe lately. He ate pretty much an entire cantaloupe the other night. $1.49. I've seen him cheaper, but I feel like we're at the end of cantaloupe season. Probably going to buy one just because I know Troy loves them so much. I have definitely seen cheaper eggs elsewhere, but we really need eggs. I keep doing recipes that call for eggs, and I don't have any. So, I'm going to go ahead and buy like one or two, just because we go through a lot of eggs when we're eating low carb. So I'm going to go ahead and get two of these. Whew, it was cold in there. Alright, let's see. Place it in my cart for these. Ah, right there is good enough. Uh, we could probably use some more milk for Troy. 89 cents for a half a gallon is pretty good by October 6th. Yeah, I'm sure he'll drink that before that expires. It's very quiet here today. I came at a good time and I am really enjoying not having Troy with me today so I can focus on getting the deals and taking my time with all of it. Alrighty. One thing I do like to buy when I come here are the pepperoncini peppers, jalapeno slices, and banana rings. The whole pepperoncinis I use for uh, Mississippi roast. Um, if you've never heard of that, Pinterest the recipe. So good. I love to have them on hand. I mean, decent. For $1.65, they're just really good to have on hand. Alright, they've got all your sauces. We have a million of those hot sauces. We're good on soy sauce. I do need some more mayonnaise. Duke's mayonnaise is marked down to $3.12. Um, Hellman's they have for $3.48. And then they have the Aldi brand, which is Bertman's, for only $1.89. And I feel like the nutrition label on this is decent. I mean, mayo is mayo, but I think I'm gonna get this because it's cheaper. We have pickles at home. We have sugar-free ketchup already at home. 
We could always use more mustard, I suppose. Troy and Ryan go through mustard like crazy. 55 cents for a bottle of mustard. That's not bad. They have peanut butters. I have not found a low carb peanut butter that I really like here because even their natural options still have like six net carbs per serving. Um, oh, this one's only four per serving, but it's got that oil at the top. I hate that. I prefer no stir peanut butter. Here is almond butter. I have some almond butter at home. That's four net carbs. Yeah, I already have a whole bunch of this stuff at home though, so I'm not gonna get it today. All right, over on this side, looks like they have zucchini. Only 89 cents, and you get that whole thing. There's like four in there, that's awesome. These look a little bruised. Uh, these look okay, I'm sure I can find some that are a little bit better. I feel like I'm gonna go with these. Um, I can do stir fry with this, or I can make zucchini noodles. Um, zoodles, I guess as some people call it. Um, they're just a versatile vegetable. Troy doesn't always eat them, but that's okay. Avocados, I feel like, are becoming out of se out of season. I've seen them as low as like 35 cents here before. 65 cents is cheaper than the 79 cents I saw advertised at another store this week so I'm probably gonna go ahead and pick up two of them and let them get ripe at my house just because I do love some fresh avocado uh, butternut squash I do love it but it can be high carb with as much of it as I like to eat so I'm not gonna get that today but that's a great price they have spaghetti squash at a great price too I might have to get a spaghetti squash 69 cents Per pound and if I get a smallish one should be pretty good I think I'm gonna get one we like our fake spaghetti nights holy moly guys honey crisp apples are the best fight me if you don't agree because I love them obviously when I'm trying to eat low carb I don't really eat them but um I'll sneak a bite of Troy's every now and then. I'm definitely going to get these at that price. Marked down from $3.69 to $1.69 for two pounds. Are you kidding me? I can't not buy them today. Alright. Let's do... <laughs> Apples. Alright, I'm going to go. I have seen similar snacks at Trader Joe's for a lot more than that. Um, Troy doesn't like them as much as I like them. I try not to eat them that much, but if I give him these as opposed to like regular veggie straws like that, he will eat them if they're in his lunchbox. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get a bag of these today. A lot of my recipes call for uh, green chilies, and this is an easy way to do it. The Macros aren't too bad on it, but for that price, it's easy to just throw a can of this into some chili or a breakfast casserole. Um, let's see. They have chipotle peppers. I don't really think I need that. They have a, a Rotel equivalent here for only 45 cents. I'll probably go ahead and get a can of that, too. So, when we're craving something crunchy, pork rinds are usually what we go to. 99 cents is a great price for these. They have hot and spicy and original. Troy is actually a huge fan of these. I know some people might think they're gross, but Troy loves them and they're good for us to dip in, you know, spinach dip or queso or something like that. I definitely need a couple of these. 229. I'm going to get a couple of those. They're good for various recipes. Don't need beans. Oh, I do like to buy tuna from here. 85 cents for a pouch of tuna. I don't like to get the flavored kind because they have added carbs in them. So occasionally I will dig and find blue. Blue is their original. And I like to keep a few of these on hand at the house to make some tuna salad with. 
They also have fully cooked bacon, but I know myself, I will eat that entire thing in one sitting. I don't need to do that. So we're gonna say no to that today. All right, let's go around the corner here. They have lots of gluten-free options for treats. I love those crackers, but they're not really low carb. Here's the cereal aisle, which thankfully Troy is not to the age yet where he can beg and beg for those. Also, he doesn't really know how good that stuff is because we don't buy it very much, if at all. If I buy cereal for him, it's usually the crispy oats, which is like Cheerios. Big box for a buck 19, but I'm not gonna get those today. I don't think he needs that. It's just a filler. Um, they do have some great options here. They have almond flour. I have a much bigger bag at home for about the same price from Walmart, so I'm not gonna get that today. Um, but they do have chia seeds for $3.29 for a bag of chia seeds and flax seeds. I have both of those at home already. Um, sometimes I can find a pure baking chocolate without any added sweeteners. I do like to get my cocoa from here. I feel like that's a decent price. I'm going to go ahead and get another one. A lot of my dessert recipes call for that. Um, let me look. They have some nuts for baking. I already have some pecans and stuff at home. So I'm not going to get any of those today, but it is good to know that they have them. And they're, I would say, competitively priced for sure. They do have ghee, which I already have some at home right now, so I don't need any right now. Uh, $6.49, I feel like that's a competitive price for that. And they have coconut oil for $4.49. Those are all good prices. And one of my favorite things, I have like three of these at home already, is the who needs the bagel seasoning? It's the same exact thing that Trader Joe's has, which is they call their version everything but the bagel. It's a lot cheaper here than it is at Trader Joe's. And it's the pretty much the same exact packaging because I've bought from both places. But last time I saw this here, um, it was the first time I'd ever seen it at this store for that price. So I bought like three of these and I have them at home right now. So I don't need any more right now. They have all the pouches and everything. Troy is pretty much outgrown these. He'll still eat applesauce occasionally, but these are the kind of diapers that we bought for him when he was wearing diapers. The Aldi brand, you cannot beat these prices, you guys. $10.99 for 82 diapers, are you kidding me? So affordable, pretty absorbent, fairly soft. They have, when I first bought these for him, um, they did not have the wet indicator, the blue line, but as I kept buying them for him, they they added that to it in their manufacturing process. Um, I will say I'm not a fan of their pull-ups though. We go with Walmart brand parents choice for pull-ups, uh, but I mean, these are a great price. They just tore whenever I would try to pull them up over his booty. So we don't really go with that. And I'm not a huge fan of their wipes. Their wipes seem equivalent to Huggies wipes to me. So if you like Huggies wipes, you'll probably like those. Um, we have this lotion for Troy at home. It's pretty good lotion. I would probably buy it again if we needed it, but we don't need any right now. Um, they also have formula. I have friends that use this formula for their babies and love it. They have a few different options of it. Those are great prices from what I've seen. I've never had to buy formula personally, but I have seen them way more expensive than that. When Troy was first learning how to eat, these kind of snacks were my go-to. They're equivalent to like Gerber brand that I've seen in like Walmart and stuff. The yogurt melts and the puffs. They have all of that, but we are out of that phase now until we have another baby. Uh, they do have some toiletry items. This is the kind of deodorant my husband wears. Um, and that's a pretty good price for it, but he already has a bunch stocked up at home. I do like to get some of their soap when I'm here because it's only 75 cents. So 75 cents. I think I'm probably gonna get two of the moisturizing ones. Uh, this is the absolute cheapest I've seen a ranch dressing mix if it's not with a coupon or on sale, 45 cents. I almost bought some at Kroger this week, but it was like a dollar, over a dollar for the same amount. So I'm gonna get two of these. Um, I use them for the Mississippi pot roast recipe I was telling you about earlier and I just like to have them on hand. Um, they have lots of like oil and vinegar and different dressings over here. We have a lot of dressings at home because I'm an addict and I buy way too many all the time. Um, I do love me some black olives. 
That might be good for a charcuterie board. Um, $1.19 for a big can. I feel like that's pretty standard price, but I'm gonna go ahead and get a, a pack of those today. Uh, bacon bits, green olives. Don't really think we need anything else from over here right now. We have apple cider vinegar at home. That's a really cheap price. The organic is decently priced too. Um, I feel like I don't have balsamic at home. It's not the worst. Numbers on that for a recipe. I did a recipe from HelloFresh a couple weeks ago that called for balsamic vinegar and it was freaking delicious. So I think I'm gonna have this and use it sparingly um, and maybe try to recreate that recipe. Okay, turning back around, I am such a mess. Okay, juice we don't buy. Troy has yogurt already at home. I could probably use some sour cream. Sour cream is only 89 cents and that's like an everyday price for them. Um, it is a little higher carb than other options I've seen at other stores, but for that price, I just, I have to get it. I can't not get it. I will say they don't usually carry like Philadelphia cream cheese and their cream cheese has more carbs than Philly. So I still get my Philadelphia at like Walmart. That is really affordable though for cream cheese, y'all. So if you don't care about counting carbs, that's where it's at. They have a lot of butter options. I've been buying this, which I feel like is the equivalent to Kerrygold butter, but a lot cheaper. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get two of these. Pure Irish butter, grass-fed cows. I like all those things. It's just really good butter. All right, we've got a lot of shredded cheese at home already. So I don't think I'm gonna buy any of that. Actually, all of the ones we have are mozzarella. So for $2.49, I'm probably gonna just get one of the Mexican style shredded. Just to have it. Just to have it. All right, lots of hot dogs. We have a million hot dogs at home. Uh, bacon, I already have some bacon at home and I don't see it marked way down. So I'm gonna pass on bacon today. All right, chorizo. This is the best chorizo that I've made at home, um, but I just had it like two do two days last week, so I'm not gonna buy any right now, but that is a go-to. Uh, Troy loves their hummus cups, but for $2.99, I don't think I'm gonna get that today. And $3.29 for that, I'm gonna pass on that today. All right, Troy loves cheese. $1.99 for the cube cheese. These are easy to throw in his uh, lunchbox. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get those. Sometimes we get the Baby Bell. They're priced like Baby Bell usually is. But I will say, they're sliced cheese. This is the cheapest I've seen it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple. I'm trying to think. Actually, I may have some sliced cheese at home. Because I think I have sliced cheese at home, I'm just gonna get one of these just in case. But I'm pretty sure I bought some at Kroger last week. They do have the Never Any uh, lunch meat, but the price I just can't justify when I can get double for cheaper of the other things. Ham is usually higher in carb, but when we buy lunch meat, we like to get not the honey roasted turkey, Black Forest Turkey. Uh, this one is a good option. It's only one carb per serving. They also have a chicken. I don't want the honey. Let's see. I don't see the chicken today. Oh, here it is. Alright, oven roasted chicken breast. Same thing. One carb per serving. For $3.19 for a whole pound of lunch meat. I mean, that's that's ideal. It makes for easy snacks for me or Ryan, or um, a quick lunch for Troy. Alright, this is the kind of chicken I like to buy. $5.59 for grilled chicken. It's easy to heat up for lunches for Troy. Um, yeah, we like to have this on hand for quesadillas or salads or just about anything. If we're gonna buy chicken, I like to do this. Troy would obviously prefer chicken nuggets, but those are another thing that are just a special treat because that's a lot for not even a good tasting thing. 
So, we're moving on. I'm not gonna buy Coke, I'm not even gonna look at it over there on the other side of me. I have salmon at home, so I don't need that. Shrimp, I don't have shrimp at home. Oh, they have it on sale a little bit. Let's see, is this already cooked though? Alright, 589 for shrimp, raw, peeled, deveined, tail off. I'm gonna do it. Because we like to have shrimp as a special treat. We like to feel like we're fancy when I cook up some shrimp, so we're gonna do that. Don't buy potatoes. If I was gonna get some uh, frozen, I would get frozen broccoli, but I just got fresh broccoli, so I'm not gonna do that today. Mini corn dogs, and Troy loves the corn dogs, but I'm always tempted to eat them when we buy them, so I just don't really like to buy them. We do, however, keep the breakfast sausage on hand. Five seventy nine. You have to make sure you don't get the maple flavor, but it's because less carbs. I was eating sugar. I do love me some mochi. It's so good. I've never seen anything like this here before. Maternity leggings. I feel like that's probably around the price that I could find some on Amazon, but interesting that they have them here. I've seen some clothing items here before. I don't think I've ever bought clothing here before. I bought Troy Pair of shoes and some socks, but like nothing for myself. But I just thought that was interesting. And they have a lot of different options too. Hmm. I'm intrigued by this. For coffee. Me gusta. That's probably more than I want to spend though. $5.99. Yeah, I don't need to be spending that money on myself right now. Alright, so my son is recently potty trained and he likes to go on the big toilet and the little toilet. Um, we have a step stool upstairs for the toilet, but we don't have one for downstairs. I feel like for $4.99, and the fact that it's curved and will sit comfortably around the toilet, I might have to get this today. Because we've been using like a step ladder kind of thing. We've been using a few different options, but I think I would like to have this for downstairs. And it's not too much of an eyesore, I don't think just our season of life right now. They have pink and blue. I'll go ahead and get blue. Oh, they have gray. Ooh, maybe I want gray. Girl, I didn't know you had gray. All right, we're gonna get gray. I like this one better. It's the only one left, too. I'm not the only one that likes it. All right, $4.99. I'm gonna get it. Oh, goodness. I'm dropping it. Dropping things. I saw this in the mailer that they sent out. Obviously, I'm not going to buy it, but look at how cute. To be at Aldi, what the heck? I kind of love it. If that's not my life, I don't know what is. Okay, I am now pushing my cart up to the front. They scan your stuff really quickly here and put it back in your cart without bagging it. So you have to bring your own bags and bag your own groceries. So that sometimes takes me a long time when I have Troy with me. He's not with me today, so I think I can probably get out of here pretty quickly. Okay, I am back in my car. It is so humid outside. It's only 87. I say only because it's been in the hundreds lately, but it is very humid. It's supposed to be raining today. It kind of rained this morning, but anyway, all that to say, I'm very sweaty right now, but I bagged up all my groceries, I loaded them in the car, and I am headed home. I actually was able to film more than I thought I would in this store, so I don't think I'm going to show you all the groceries again when I get home. I ended up spending, I think it was $119 with tax and everything for everything I got. I did take a picture on my cell phone, and I can put that in the end of the video of my cart once I took the bags out and it was just all the groceries in there. Um, it was a pretty good haul. It should last us a while. The only reason I think we would need to go to another store would be if we need pull-ups 
or um, we really like the seltzer drinks from Kroger, but we're pretty good on those at home. So I think we're good for lunches and dinners for the next week at least. And I think that is a great price to spend on all of that stuff. Thanks for shopping with me at Aldi. Um, let me know if you're interested in any more videos like this. I figured that it took me a while to um, kind of learn the process and like find the deals and what's worth it and what's not and so um, I figured some of my friends may be interested in that um, I'm obviously not an expert I'm just a stay-at-home mom that likes to shop on a budget so uh, thanks again for coming along with me and I'll see you guys